I think it probably max at 12 then because it's D6. And so double double the max you can lose is 12. Okay. So if you want to make a note of that, once you lose 12, you no longer give a fuck. It's like, oh, look, a were crocodile. That's silly. So, yeah, you're done talking to him, but uh, it appears that uh, it is now time to see if his cage actually holds. For this, I'll be doing a craftsmanship thing as uh, werewolves are, as you guys found out, tremendously strong. Let's see if it can destroy its cage and get into combat with you guys. No, it has failed its destroy cage roll. It does not like it. It howls. It beats on the cage. Eventually, it just fucking... Because when every time it hits the cage, there's a little bit of tsst with a little bit of smoke. So it learns to not touch the bars. Good. And the bars are made of silver then? No, they're, they're made of iron with silver woven into them. Oh, okay. But apparently silver is not good for werewolves. And iron apparently is bad for elves. So... Yeah. Makes sense. So, yeah, this cage looks like it could serve a multitude of purposes. Hooray. <laughs> and, of course, Doc Fulton, you're, you're used to, instead of a cage, just having a pit in your living room with a little basket, some lotion. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh Eventually, uh, you guys are pretty convinced he ain't getting out of there. All right, let's leave him for the night. No problem. He, he stopped howling and shit and just prowls around and eventually just sits down and then lays down in his fucking cage because once you've discovered you can't get out, and then he goes nuts again and then he lays down. It's never ending rage. Good dog. <laughs> I'd be so fucked up if Chris was badass enough to grab him and fucking just beat his head on the floor and the bad, bad dog, bad newspaper. Start training the werewolf. That would be if animal handling werewolf. Oh, yeah. If anybody wants to fucking get in the cage and try it and makes their fucking roll, you could clear up all kinds of shit. He may not even need the cage. Mm hmm. But, I mean, you'd have to be some sort of bird psychologist to fucking pull that off. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Chris? Or don't Absolutely you feel like not. getting into a combat with a werewolf? Okay. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. <laughs> right. So, you guys head back up. Uh, the the servants, uh, basically, you, you discover, been told to stay out of the basement and not ask questions. So they're staying out of the basement and not asking questions. In fact, there's even a key to lock the basement door. It's one of the big, heavy fucking skeleton key, stick and lock, turn and clunk. And so if one of you wants to take it as opposed to leaving it in the door, you may. Yes, we won't leave it there for a inquisitive servant to go and say, ooh, let's check it out. Hmm? Okay, so what are you guys going to do for the rest of the evening? Um, were you wanting to go out about the town or relax, Doc? Or? Since I really don't know what the hell's still going on, um, whatever, I'm following in your lead for now. Okay, yep, still trying to get your head around everything. Well, there's a lot of things. Yes, yes, there are. Well, you could you could always go uh, check out the nightlife in the town. <laughs> uh, anyway, good times roll. <laughs> we can cut to or do whatever you would like to do. Yeah, wait, wait till morning. I think because yeah, we we'll both shot up a bit. So yeah you are all right so you guys go to sleep and now you get to find out how the healing works essentially it's a willpower roll you want really low if you get a willpower times five you heal one hit point if you get times four you heal two hit points if you get times three you heal three hit points if you get times two you heal four hit points if you get times five you uh heal or times one 
willpower times one, then you heal five hit points. If you get a crit willpower roll, you're fucking fine. Even if you're a death store the day before. That, by the way, is standard healing for zones where it is otherwise not specified B. Uh, by two. So if you made it times two, you heal up uh, four hit points. Cool. And I'm fully healed. Pretty fucking rapid healing. Can... Yeah. It's like I sleep for three nights after being at death's door and I'm okay, maybe, you know, if you're full of willpower. And you get a check in willpower since you made it under times three. Okay. Hooray! Yes, it is. I hear my one hit point. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, the... Uh, um, the bar that, just to be clear, because the guy did know, the bar that the goblins are at is called the Boneyard, and it's in the Arcology. Okay. But it's the next day. The sun shines brightly um, in the uh, the guy's fancy uh, library. You hear... Uh, uh, ahoy oh. fart and wake himself up from it. So <laughs> after getting up, go downstairs and release Simon. Excellent. He is really glad you remembered him. <laughs> I was fucking curious if I could distract you away from Chisholm all day, all day naked, sitting in a cage. <laughs> <I forgot>. Yeah. <laughs> It's unusual seeing a naked rhino, too. I'm not even sure about the genitalia, so do not fucking ask me, okay? Um, okay, I'll close my lips that we're about to ask that very question. <laughs> yeah, just, it's Disney. Disney. How many horns does he have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who runs Barter Town? Uh, right, no problem. He gets, he gets dressed up, and then he goes upstairs to... Uh, a, He's, he says, oh, tomorrow's the last night of the full, or tonight's the last night of the full moon. So one mm -hmm. more time into the breach, good friends. Yep. We'll have he, breakfast. Excellent. Uh, he goes and gets changed into fancy clothes for breakfast. Your tailor has delivered new fancy clothes. Basically, you guys also get, you dress up for meals here, which is, I consider mm -hmm. a huge pain in the ass and waste of time, but that's how yes. they do it. Okay. Yes. So you guys get dressed for breakfast, and the guy the guy is making the breakfast in like the little pan with the, the, the thing, and he's cooking the, the crepes and shit. And you're like, hey. So, yeah, you eat breakfast. It's, it's very fancy here. I'm not going to ask for any more fucking etiquette rolls you get in, in this house. You guys can obviously handle yourselves. Not like that, Chris, you pervert. Anyway, um, so how many hordes? No, anyway, um... So yeah, you guys have breakfasted. Uh, Simon, you can tell, uh, oh, give me an empathy roll. Maybe you can or can't tell with your rhino. Uh, Got it. Hmm. And then, what, what happened there? Where'd it go? Try that uh, again. You push your weird button and made it all disappear? Right? right? You guys can tell that Simon's got a lot to do, but he wants to be a good host and show you around the town you've already seen. Um, Simon, we, I, we've you've got a bit in your plate at the moment, it seems. So we will get out of your hair. Is there's a couple of things we want to do, and let you deal with your pressing business issues. All right. I, 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 if you need anything, do you, uh, would you like a, would that be at this hour? Uh, it's probably the Herald. It is the Herald. He's like, aha, I'm the Herald. No shit. <laughs> so, the butler's like, so anyway, the Herald, sir. Yeah, because there's still a couple of things we need to talk about. Like, for example, the um, individuals um, we had the meeting with the other day with you and what that all was in. The and uh, the nature Over of that dinner? situation and what we need to worry if we need to be concerned about. Oh, indeed we do. But uh, perhaps we could discuss it after dinner tonight. Yes. Excellent. He says, if there's anything you need, anything at all, please Certainly let me not. know. 
of course. Uh, right. The tailor, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Just deliberately close. Good. Right. Things begin bustling around again. Yes. Um, also, a couple of bodyguards show up to uh, that Simon is hiring to protect himself. Mm -hmm. Because he yes. can't rely on the werewolf beaters hanging out with him at all times. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, a couple couple of fucking gunmen, you know. Uh, one one looks pretty foxy. He's got a fox head, you know. And uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the other one's a cat. So anyway, um, right, yeah, they they show up and he pays them and stuff, and they're they're basically like gunslinger types. They get introduced to you. He's told he's like these are my best friends here and he introduces he says these are Australians and they're like looking at your ears and shit and they're like uh huh uh, all cats female yeah oh, no. good but yeah I was so, just thinking the whole Japanese thing with the oh god no no we're not going down that creepy ass way women with the ears and tails mm -hmm. the whole cat girls mm -hmm. cat girl thing. yeah 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 but uh, the 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 various critters do have some of their critter things, like the the cat gun fighter is more dexterous looking and stuff. Just little little things like that are going mm -hmm. on. Yep, yep. Cool. So um, where to? Um, first question for the bird. The word. Oh, he looks at you. Oh, he's it. Are you gonna get that cloth thing? I'll try it. I'll try it. But All right, we'll organize that for you. I, I'm gonna need more newspaper like... eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any farts when he belches? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Do you know anything about lycanthropy? He rolls his uh, uh, lore skill to figure out if he actually does or not. <laughs> he did hang out with a mage for a while. Exactly. Yep. Yep. He says. <laughs> any ideas as to a cure? He rolls on his know about possible cure for lycanthropy skill. Yes, he says. <laughs> fucking hot one. He says, I actually know uh, a potion that can be brewed that uh, can, uh, if you take it uh, before the full moon and stuff, uh, you'd have to you'd have to make it alchemically and stuff and infuse a small amount of power into it. But yes, I know the potion by heart for some reason. Apparently, okay. uh, my master wanted to make sure I didn't turn into a were cuckoo. Maybe, Maybe I am a were cuckoo. I was a cuckoo who turned into a different cuckoo. Yeah. As long as you're not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He doesn't yes. know what that means. <laughs> um, hot one. Are you kidding? I was giving him a 20% chance of knowing any vague shit. Hot one. Credit. Yes. Yes, I do. I this bird is turning out to be a really good investment. You're thinking yes, he is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, and, I, and that and that Inspector Ford, he was ripping me off. Little did he know. Well, yeah, twenty dollars for a bird is usually is is normally uh, ripped off, but yeah, that's almost um, a month's pay. Yes. So this potion, does it actually cure it or does it dampen it? it? It dampens it down. He may not fully change and stuff. Uh, he may not change at all, uh, but uh, it's an alchemical thing. So you okay. need an alchemist to make it, which, are you an alchemist? Mm, I have understanding of chemistry and stuff like that. I don't know what chemistry means. Sorry, yes, I, have, I actually do have chemistry and alchemy. Fine, <laughs> he says. The skill, the skill on the character sheet is chemistry slash alchemy. So, yes, he says. So yes, 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 I am an alchemist. I have a long list of ingredients for you. <laughs> okay. He gives you a long list of ingredients, which I'm guessing you're going to write down somewhere or something like that. But yes, yes, yeah. I will write it down. I will get. Presumably, there's there's pen, there's pencils, pens, or whatever paper on his desk in the library. You have I'll you get... have writing utensils and ink yeah, wells so, so. and stuff like that. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So I will write down the list of ingredients. Mm -hmm. No problem. It's a pain in the ass writing with a uh, dipping ink pen, which is why they invented 
blotting paper. Yay. Yes. So, no problem. And then you dry it. So, uh, you have a list of shit. Uh, you go out um, assuming that you get enough to make several, several doses. It comes out to about a dollar per dose by as many as you think you would like. Mm -hmm. That's a whole day's wages per dose. It's very expensive, but yep. it's comprised of various shit. Yep. So the other question for the bird, since you seem to... He, I don't know, he may, looks maybe, shocked with his own knowledge. May, maybe your owner knew someone, had a loved one or knew someone that suffered from it. Anyway. Um, Apparently, he says. He just so he like slow wings at you. Is, is it the... I seem to recall legends about if you kill the person, like the person that infected. Oh, yeah. He rolls. Does that, does that cure? The... He says, well, on that, I am finally unsure. <laughs> no worries. It may be. It sounds good to me. You should probably definitely kill anybody who is a bad like I can like where guy mm -hmm. their guy why yes. are you talking like that i thought you wanted to ah. Ah. all right not a worry is there anything else that i can help you with and where are we going now i thought you'd like to stay here for a while i do but where i don't nice. want to be alone because we're <laughs> going outside to buy ah. ingredients so I thought you would be more calm and peaceful and relaxed here. But you're going to leave me by myself? No, well, or I can take you down to the kitchen and put you in a corner there. So there's, there's always going to be people there in the kitchen. Hmm. Uh, will they mind? Will they be nice to me? I'm sure they'll be nice to you as long as you're nice to them. I can't guarantee that. Well... <laughs> he just looks at you like, what are we going to do? <laughs> we, we can give it a shot, I suppose, and see. But you'll, you'll come back and get me after you come back? Of course. You won't forget? Nope. You promise? I promise. Okay. All right. You lug this extremely awkward oh, okay. cave. Yeah, yeah, I'll check to see if there's actually a spot where we can put him in the kitchen before doing so. Of course, of course. They, they, the kitchens are big, noisy affairs and stuff. And uh, if and if the kitchen is not a good place, if there's another place where there's always going to be people. No, the kitchen, the kitchen is an awesome idea because, yeah, it's with uh, – there's no microwave, so cooking is kind of an all-day affair for a mm -hmm. lot of stuff. So, yeah, no, that's that's a brilliant. Uh, take a card for being uh, you coming up with good idea. So, uh, yeah. We will go. Oh, we're all beautiful. Um, yeah, you you uh, decrease your hand to six and you uh, yes, I'm going can buy as me. many doses as you wish. Uh, up to a hundred, hundreds max, because then you'll bought out all the shit from the town that is used to make this. I think I'll get twenty to begin with. Yeah, yeah. If he survives past that, he gets another twenty dollar bill. How's that? <laughs> Great. Anything else you'd like to go to? Um. So just making a note. Um, asbestos. What? Asbestos. asbestos. Mm -hmm. It's been around for thousands of years and gets used in all sorts of stuff in the Industrial Re Revolution, etc. Let me take a look on that. Oh wow, it's a mineral? Or mm -hmm. was... hmm. 
Where the fuck does it come from? M. Uh, large scale mining began at the end of the 19th century. Yeah, but wasn't it getting. It's been used for a long time, hasn't it? Um, Not under uh, large scale. 4,000 years ago, but they didn't use nearly as much. No. Nah. And apparently you should. Uh, have the children peel it off of your walls if you discover it in your home now. Um, yes. Yeah, they didn't discover how bad it was till the 1920s for reasons. Yeah. Oh, like, well, considering it was still getting used in buildings <laughs> and stuff in the 1950s and 60s. Yep. So, yeah, asbestos. I did not think of that. Okay, cool. And... Um, Right. Give me a luck roll to find enough asbestos that you can then take it to the tailor and have him make a sweater. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, luck, 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 luck. So what do you think of the uh, asbestos sweater thing, Chris? I think that it's weird. Yes. <laughs> Hey, unless you can think of what we can get in this area for a fire salamander to keep him warm, that's not going to burn. <laughs> hey, I'll love, make a luck roll. There, there are some some things. You made it? Yeah. Right. Uh, mark off $2 for the asbestos and labor. Mm -hmm. You have a, uh, well, actually, and a memory roll or tailoring uh, to get the right size, etc. Because no, of course the tailor doesn't want to come and try to measure a fire asbestos or a fire lizard in order to fire salamander to get the mm, size right. So you're going off of your memory and stuff here. Yeah, if I can't hundred, if I can't recall, I will come. I'll go and get the measurements and come back, but I'll see if I can remember. Mm. Yes, I do. Of course you do. Right. You take it back, uh, present to Veeks. Now, now is the tricky part, um, getting it on him. Mm -hmm. He's trying to keep his fire from bursting out. But essentially to do this, uh, whoever is going to be doing it is going to make one dodge roll. And this is just to avoid uh, damage. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm. Where is it? I'll play my Shut dodge up, plus cast your horrible pussy. Hmm? Play my dodge plus twenty card. Damn you. Gives me ninety two is the skill, so yes I make it. All right. Yeah, you get him on and do it. He is fucking thrilled with it. He will uh now attempt to uh teach you and uh spell. Yeah. Do you want him to try to teach your friend too? If so, yes, he's going to, want, going to want a gift from your friend, but he doesn't know what, so he has to be creative. Okay. The talking salamander looks at you with its eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well? Oh, you want a gift from me right this moment? Well, you can go buy it, and I'll wait. I'm working anyway. Get back to work, you lazy fucking lizard, screams the overseer. What do you like to do? Like, what, what hobbies do you have? Hobbies? Yeah, I when would like not to develop a hobby. Please go select one that I can do. When, when you're not working, like, of, the, of an evening or whatever, because uh, generally they're, um, or they're working 24-7 here. No, no, I'm, I, I, they can't because, you know, my fire dims after a while and I'm, it's pretty boring. I would like a hobby. Please buy me a hobby and I will teach you the spell. Okay. I've got a sweater. It keeps looking at the sweater. <laughs> Chris, what kind of hobby would you like to get the talking fire salamander? Um, are there blacksmiths in this town? Yes. yes. In fact, there's one that you hear about uh, that's known as Burn Bear. Okay. But you're also told you probably shouldn't call her that to her face. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Now, how big is the salamander? Like, is he like the same? He's pretty fucking good. He, he's this, uh, like the big dogs. If you were to, to chop one of them's legs off, uh, disclaimer, audience, do not chop the legs off of dogs in order to see how big the salamander is. And then put a big tail on it. That okay. would be about the right size. So he doesn't have hands or anything? Or no, it's it got humanoid? the little salamander claw thing. No, it's not humanoid at all. It is an actual salamander. Yeah, this mm. this one's not anthropomorphic. Right. So Hobby will be a bit tougher, but it seems fucking fascinated by the prospect of having a hobby. But finding one that it can do, and probably by itself, as you did not see any other salamanders, harder. I mean, knit, knitting's could, right out. Was it gripping anything, or it was just it like can, walking it around? It can. Or... It's got small claw things it can use, but they're not very big. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder, wonder how dexterous it is. Eh. It's not extremely dex. I mean, kite flying is right out. If even if it didn't burn the shit out of the kite, the string. Center. Okay, so I tell the blacksmith that what I would need is um. She has a big bird mark in her head, like balls, and she's like a bear, about like three inches around, like metal balls, and then with like um a small point coming out of it, so it looks kind of like um. Hmm. Just like a ball with like a, a pointy end to it. With like so it looks like a pencil's coming out of it, a pencil of metal and different thicknesses, like like a thicker one, a medium sized one, and then a thinner one. Cause uh we're gonna make him a wood burning kit. So that way he can so he can heat up the end of the piece of metal and with the ball it'll fit right into it. Wow. That's and then brilliant. he can write on wood and like craft things and, and <laughs> right. both, both of you assholes take a refill. Uh, that, that, that's fucking great. Uh, okay. That's wow. No problem. Yeah. Get get your refills. Um Right. Okay. okay. Do you have a Chris? Do you? Oh, you're just still getting your cards. I've got a Insta Hero. If you've got a Retrieve or anything. Wow. <laughs> what? No, I have nothing good. <clears throat> nothing good. I thought you got some sort of fucked up card like make a fire salamander a wood burning kit or some weird shit. Uh, no, just the look. You're like, bah, bah. <laughs> Play the insta hero, yeah. Hey, you set us challenges. We accept them and conquer them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's a whole different world than some of the challenges I've set where the players are like, Salamanders don't do anything. I have no idea. I wander off. Right. Okay. So <laughs> it's going to, it, it It says if it doesn't uh, manage to teach you the, shut up, you horrible cat. I'm not letting you out because you may not come out. <clears throat> That'll be on me. Right. Right. It's going to try to teach each of you the spell. Um, and it'll try uh, once per day until it fucking sinks in. The spell it's trying to teach you guys is called Extinguish Fire. Because that's the first spell on the fire tree. So first it will start with Pete. There's my rolling. There it goes. And come on, spell does it not do it? Yes, and the teach. Oh my god, it made it. And on Chris, it's uh, since it's already made the spell, it goes for the teach. <laughs> he can't teach you that spell, he tries and he tries, and you just don't get it. That, 
Ed, can I pass him a card? Chris or the salamander? No, the salamander. If the salamander had any cards, he'd be happy to trade them to you. But if yeah. you have a supporter reroll, you could play it on the salamander. No, otherwise, I've got, I've we'd got, never teach Chris. Yeah, I've got rerolls, but not supporter rerolls. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have a uh, hundred percent in teach. And I, I suppose you don't have anything, Chris, that will be. Now, yeah, keep in mind, combined he, with the re you, can, you can eventually. Uh, I can attempt to trip you, Chris, but yeah, yeah, it will be hard. Although the salamander is, he he's like, well, I guess if you need to take back my new hobby, I yeah, I'm, you're totally justified. But you're just oh, is there something? Is there something else, and you could gift him? I, I, that's that's it. That's I. Would you like a mouthful of coal? Don't give away my coal, you fucking stupid <laughs> lizard! Shut up! <laughs> I haven't taught that spell in a long time. Do you know anything about gates? As in gates between worlds? They open, worlds. they close. Uh, between what? Between worlds. Mm, nope. Okay. So you don't know of anyone that knows of them? I've never heard of such a thing. That's, okay. that's great. Okay, Pete, here's your new spell, and please build up your teaching as quick as possible so you can teach it to Chris, who otherwise will remain heartbroken. It's going into roll 20. Let me know if you get a crit, as there's more spells on the tree. Also, in this zone, you don't have to make extra rolls as you do in some zones for casting shit. Like, for example, if you try your pocket spell back in your... Uh, red carpet realm, you have to make an extra willpower roll to even see if you can push it forward. And as some people may tell you, doing it in front of the wrong people leads to bad results, which you've seen from your videotape, actually. Yeah. So there you go. All right. I'd be sure speaking, to copy Speaking of which, is something we forgot to do, something we should have done this morning. What's that? Our pocket spells. I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. Chris got robbed. Yes, I get the did. salt matter a decent chance too, but 99 is 99. Extinguish fire bold. How high is your teaching anyway? Nice. Well, the good news is that every day you can attempt your extinguish fire skill. And if you make that, you can try your teach skill. And if you make that, he'll learn. So until you fumble. And if you fumble, you're done trying to teach him that. The weird, the weird thing about the spells is the only thing that you can teach somebody is the starting spell from the tree or line of that spell because i've learnt a spell does that give me a tick in essence no okay. um doing stuff to feel your way through the universe with your essence or something like that gives you a tick in it yep yep no worries. Hmm. Yeah, essence essence ticks are not really super easy to get unless you find something that if you do certain thing, then you have to make an essence roll. If you find that and keep going back to the well, then that that would speed you through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, assuming Chris just follows you around, what do you do? Um, well, look for a, get the Herald to take us, I don't know, to a real estate agent or something. Hmm. No problem. He is happy to. Um, yeah, you guys head into a real estate office and, um, yeah, 
the the herald explains that you guys are australians and um stop mm -hmm. uh, how can i help you says uh the the uh um otter headed guy um interested what sort of houses you got in your books for sale okay uh which which district good question I thought so. He says he taps his quill on his paper. Um, well, actually, I I haven't decided on a district yet. So, all right. Well, to see the ranges, etc. The the arcology about. the arcology is not a bad a bad one. I mean, it's it is a bit rougher there. Um, mm -hmm. The downtown is the priciest, uh, but you can get good good uh, stone work there. Um, Stinkton or Stinktown, as they call it, definitely the cheapest. Mm -hmm. The okay, Logan, the house in modern San Angeles that was. On a hill because it was on a cliff side, etc., wasn't it? Your guys' house? Be? Yes. Uh, let me think. Where would your house be in relation to it? Uh, you probably off in the uh, fucking forest somewhere because San Angelo is okay. a lot bigger in your time period yeah. and you're not on the ocean. I'm just thinking if we could get a house here in the same location, then that we would could be have... fucking cool. That would be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Then. Yeah. It'd make it a lot easier for linking up. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're you're only like a two hour walk from your house in this. Like, the, actually, no. Yeah, you can find a place that's pretty goddamn close. Now that I think about it, because yeah, but you're not quite on the ocean, so perhaps close to the arcology, but in the downtown district is the closest you can get. Yeah, I was just thinking if we can get something very close to where our house is. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it doesn't sure. really matter. Yeah, sure. Especially because yeah. I was thinking from a, like the gate needs to be done on a hilltop and the house because it was on a hilltop because it was, you know, had a cliff there and stuff. True. Um, so then yeah, we, just do, we could then do the gate inside the house. Yeah, but you're kind of missing out on the forest part of the equation. Oh, it had to be in the forest as well, wasn't it? True. Yeah. Bummer. Otherwise, yeah. Well, I was thinking... Now there is there. That would be a good essence thing. Is if you fucking twisted the spell to make it so that you were going to a little different place and stuff, and basically altering it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you would like to, you can immediately attempt to teach Chris. I mean, it only takes an hour, and the salamander's sitting there going, I have no idea how to teach him. He is just resilient to it. I will try to make something for him to make up for it. It grabs hold of the, the thing. It's like, <sighs> I'm trying to burn wood and shit. And the guy's like, yeah. you fucking lazy lizard. I will attempt to the teach. The lizard's not good at this yet. No. Oh, yeah, all right then. Let's see if I can teach Chris. Teach Doc Fulton. Hooray. Uh, what, is, what are we saying? Teaching. No, first do the spell. And ah. then, oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No. So, cool. Um, maybe maybe tomorrow. If you, if you work on it every day, you'll eventually fumble and be unable to teach him ever. I mean, eventually you may be able to teach him. Well, I assume I can keep trying to spell until... Until you fumble, yes. Until I fumble or run out of magic points. Oh, the spell. No, you can do the spell. That's a whole different deal. I'm talking about teaching him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because isn't fumble... the first roll, first roll we actually have to cast a spell successfully? No, you're, you're not actually... That's knowing enough about your subject to be able to have a teaching roll. Oh, okay. So that's that's why if you're an expert in something, then you'll have a much better chance of teaching. Ah, uh, okay. So you, you it. okay? It's not the actual casting of it; it's just knowing about it to be able to then teach it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're one, okay. to, if, if you're one checking it, there's plenty of different little torches and stuff because apparently the spell has no effect on anything bigger than a torch. But you can go, ha! Ah, one magic point of fail. One magic point of fail. One magic fumble. I am on fire. Fuck. So yeah, you can try that that's if right. you want. Yeah, not 
not at this right at this moment but yeah okay yeah now the only problem is you've got the pockets and this and the, and the finite number of magic points and you're like <sighs> yeah it's all good so what exactly are we trying to do right now what what is what is our mo currently well oh, the lizard the goes these like hard to draw this picture of you and it just isn't working because he's got the thing clenched in his mouth i don't worry about it you need to practice and it'll be we'll be around here for a while okay thank you yep um the well actually there's there potentially something you could do for him is are you able to produce extra extra good metal uh no that was more of uh that guy's job to do the metal um i just get the heat right what we really need if you want really really good metal is you know when they're making something and uh they heat up the metal so it's that really nice red and stuff mm -hmm. and then they're, they're hitting it and stuff and then they they stick it in oil to do something to it to make it not hot mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. i was told that if you can find a way to suddenly make it not hot then it makes it a lot tougher but i don't know how to do it because the the spell doesn't that's too much for that little spell So, yeah, damn mozzies. Yeah. Right. This is why Pete needs a flamethrower. Just <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. I was just thinking, Doc, that if he could help produce some really good metal, then you could potentially get a yeah. good sword made. I, I tell you what, you know, I, if you, if, if if I ever get good at this art stuff, then, you know, maybe I can buy myself from this guy so that I don't have to work for him anymore. Why, how much would it cost to buy? I have no idea, but uh, money, it would cost money, and it's the only warm place. I mean, yeah, the sweater's good, but that's just for, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know. you do, yes, you do have that drawback that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't just go nah. wherever you want to go. I'm sure that when I, when I was in the egg, I was in a much better place. Mm-hmm. But now I'm, it's, everything's cold all the time. You're in California. I'd like to point this out real quick. Maybe if he was in Australia when Pete is, he'd be comfortable. Yeah, it's always hot there. I'm surprised your house hasn't burst in the flame. I hope it doesn't, but it's <laughs> hot there. All right. So, Doc, I was thinking maybe we get a get a house or something for a base of operations while we're here. Okay. Um, and then that way it'll give something so if others come here as well. The uh, um, foreman hears that as he's coming over. He's like, well, you could also run a room at a nice hotel and stuff, uh, Australian guys. Yeah. yeah, that was my uh, other thought was rent a suite or something. Mm, yes. Excuse me. Well, get back to work, you fucking lazy lizard. I don't have to work. I don't want to. I'm trying to express myself artistically. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> they scream at each other for a while, but artistic expression versus uh, getting kicked out into the cold. <laughs> You've never thought that you'd have to deal with arguments like this. And mm -hmm. stuff. We shall leave. All right. Uh, the, the lizard does yell after you, hey, if you ever get your, uh, your own blast forge or something in your house, then I'll come live there. Oh, no, you won't. you got to fucking work here, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, yelling. So, Doc, from your experience with other gates and stuff. Oh, Doc, could you also, sorry, could you give me a uh, lizard psychology role, please? Sure. Great, thanks. <laughs> no. Thank God. Go on, Pete. Sorry. So, <laughs> does it? Can what I'm trying to say? From place, from location to location, 
is it like the same place where you think, or can you fix it to two different locations? As okay. in, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, are you talking about like making a gate that travels? Yeah. You know, so, like, the gate we went through went from a fixed like from where, where it appeared in this world was equivalent to where it existed in the other world. Mm -hmm. So, can we? Is it possible to create a gate that will appear in a different location? in the other world or a slightly you know a location that's moved say five meters or 30 meters or 20 meters or whatever 100 meters basically what i'm thinking is is that say for example we get a house mm -hmm. is it best to get a house as close as possible to where our house is in modern san angeles so that if we can get, create a gate linking the two or is it a case that it doesn't really matter where the house is, We once we work out how, we'll be able to create a gate anyway and link them? Well, it all depends on the gate that you create using the spell. Um, it depends on, uh, from what I know of the kind of gates that I have made in the past, which I don't know how to do anymore. That's um, right. I'm in, I'm, I actually had a lot of knowledge of gates once upon okay. a time, but I've forgotten it all. Oh, um, it all really depends. Then, unless you have somewhere to anchor it that you feel safe, yeah, with, it yeah, could be a loss of permanent essence or permanent magic that you'll never get back. And if you know it goes away, it goes away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's part of it's it's just... a rough one to to do. Yes, I wasn't sure how the from your in these worlds. Because you you were saying you'd experienced other gates besides the one we travelled through. Yes, but I have not made any besides the okay. one just yeah, recently. Yeah, one. All right, yeah, yeah. Wasn't sure if you'd made others. No, nope. can't seen others created. That's right. Yeah, as I said so. My thing was we get a get a house or something, or we just get a suite. Maybe we get a suite for the moment and not worry about an actual physical building, physical house. I mean, both have pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like having a suite in a hotel means that, yeah, we get the meals and stuff, having a, a house. People. We'd have to hire people, servants and crap, maybe. Well, we don't have to, but I mean. Yeah. Well, pl like, what, like. We've helped Simon. Like, what else are we doing here? Is like I've got no idea going That's on, or not real at this stage. I mean, there's stuff. It's a world. There's stuff going on. It well, of course. Appears but... to, it, it appears to be. Well, evolution didn't create this place. A bunch of guards are running around, being frantic and looking worried. So, but yes, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, what what. What else do we? Is there anything else to check out here? Once we, you know, we could sign I asked one of the guards, "What is going on? Are we under attack or something?" Uh, uh, no, no, the the princess, she she's missing. I look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she was out riding her horse uh, named Tantiv. Uh, people spotted her uh, heading into the evil. Elf riddled woods. I don't. Uh, maybe she forgot that there are elves. We must find her. Yeah, well. Do you know where she is, Australian person? I have not seen her today. He's Australian, says the Herald. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. If you can help us find her, that would be great. We're going out looking. Yeah, I have some knowledge of tracking. <gasps> Good. See if you can find her. If you do, then we will be very happy and stuff. They yes. head out to go and try to trample the tracks before you can get to them. Yes. All right. Shall we go try stand there and watch the guards for the shop? Shall we go try and find a princess? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> There, there is actually a bunch of shit that's going on to 
Yeah, yeah. What happens when you get three months of writing time, motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, something on 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 the way out. Something I want to get hold of is a shotgun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a problem. Skilled. Yeah, I'm actually quite skilled in shotgun. Weird. Uh, low, medium, or high quality? High quality Sorry? is 10 bucks. If you want to spend less, you can. Well, it's basically we're heading out the gate, so it, if there's a gun shop along the way, go in there, buy. Sure, sure. Yeah. Quickly buy a gun. Great. So yeah, if, if they've got high quality, yeah, I'll spend 10 bucks on a high quality. On a they throw in a bunch of shells. Here's 20 yeah, shells. One of, one of the more modern newfangled double barrel shotguns. Yes. Yeah, it's two two rounds and then panic for uh, several rounds as you attempt to reload and then two rounds and then panic again, etc. So, yep. no problem. You go out and I uh, they do have horses and stuff here if you guys like to be on a horse because that's much faster than being on foot. I can use a buggy, but I don't think I can actually ride a horse. Uh, the ground might be a bit bad uh, for buggies once yeah. you get past the farms. Yeah. They're I'm, pretty I'm sure you can ride a horse, and they're happy to sell them to you. What about rent? Rent. Sure, they'll rent your horse. Uh, $3, but if you don't bring back the horse, uh, then you have to pay for the horse. Okay. I'm um, pretty you... sure the horse is going to disappear. You may as well just give them a twenty twenty dollars per horse and just fucking go out and execute it. <laughs> and you got any ability in riding a horse, Doc? Absolutely not. <laughs> so you guys we're go out. Equal, on... we're, we're on equal footing then. Or you could go out and just Conan it. If you have long distance running, that would be great too. Yeah, I can sprint, but I don't have long distance. How are you going to be with Conan if you can't long distance run? <laughs> Conan. Do we want to get some horses and amateurishly learn. ride out there? Yeah. Um, sure. Why not? Yeah, we're in a western. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, so, uh, mark off. Uh, oh, sorry. There was something else I wanted to get, which was uh, a pipe and tobacco. But yeah, that was just as an aside. I'll throw it in me. with the uh, horses and tack and harness. Mark off uh, sixty dollars. You each have guns. a horse with okay. saddles, bit, bridle reins. These are kind of like lizard horses. But oh, was it sixty? Did you say sixty total? Yeah, that includes the the tack and harness and blankets yeah. and. That was for oh. the, and I assume that's for the two of them. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Minus 60, all right. Okay. You get those so that, as I said, they can end up running away and leaving you forever and then being hunted down and eaten lizard by the horse. Else. Mm hmm. Uh, I was just writing down lizard horse. Yep. As, as you, uh, which gate would you like to go out? That one. Uh, well, you have a choice between the downtown gate or the arcology gate, meaning you'd have to pass through the arcology. I'll go with the downtown, as I think that's right. That... No problem. Uh, yeah, the the guards are like, oh yeah, it's the Australian. They're showing each other a newspaper that has your picture front and center. It's mm. like Australians among us. Yeah, I need to remember to get a copy of that article. Your mother so... would really like to get a copy of that from you. Yes, yeah, so and it should start a clippings book. Hmm. Can you imagine the shit that would be in there? Your mother doesn't need to see all of it. Anyway, so uh, you guys head on out. Uh, as you as pretty much uh, when you ha head across the fields and stuff, just give me your ride to horse rolls. This is to see if you get tossed off the horse and the horse runs away, possibly back to the guy that you bought it I from. Succeed. You do? Holy mm -hmm. crap. So Maybe. is it ride horse or ride, ride lizard horse? Uh, I'd accept ride a horse on these. You, you don't okay. have to make a, sp a separate skill for them unless you I really, really want to. Ride horse in. I do not make it. Excellent. Okay. Did you... Well, it's not a fumble or anything. No? Did you um, want to re-roll, Chris? I've got yes. A couple. Yes, do it. Build up no. your Western skills. It's not worth burning re-rolls on. I mean, I have learned skill on it, so. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. Look, at, look at Pete ride. Um, 
Right. Well, due to Pete making his ride, he just you guys discover that it goes much faster if Chris rides uh, double on Pete's horse and then you pull the other one after you. So unless you guys object to that or or you just are fucking strapped into your horse, Chris, and Pete's making it because it never fucking goes the direction you want it to. So Pete has your horse's reins and your whole job is simply to hold on to the horse. Is that OK? okay. Sure. Great. That way, if something surprises you and both horses go different directions, then that'll be extra fun for me. Yep. All right. So uh, you guys go out and riding around. Give me a tracking roll. You occasionally stop and get off and look at the ground mm -hmm. and go, mm, it appears white woman went this way or whatever, you know, or tiger lady goes, tiger lily go this way. Yes. Excellent. Um, you are tracking her around, hoping you don't run into fucking bands of hostile elves and stuff who will doubtless shoot you with their arrows. Uh, if they're from longbows, they may get a plus one to hit and damage. Um, but you guys are out doing that and the sky begins to get overcast and stuff and you're following a trail and you're worried it's going to start raining and they'll get rid of the tracks and stuff. And Chris's horse seems to be fucking temperamental as shit, whereas your horse is doing what you want. You're not sure what the big deal is. Um, but eventually, after a while, um, it does indeed start raining. And you, the tracks are literally getting washed away. You're deep, deep in the heart of Charlie. Um it's not a straight thing. She's riding around like she's on crack or something like that. 